All right, so if you're like me, you've spent thousands of dollars on gear and equipment, you've worked tirelessly hours trying to figure out how to make some awesome videos and photos, only to see it reposted without your tag, pisses you off, doesn't it? Let me show you how to take care of that. So let's get right into it. Did you know that if you took any photo, you are actually the owner and have all the rights to that photo? That's probably why you see celebrities where they'll actually grab your phone and take the photo themselves. That's because they wanna have the rights and they don't want you making any money off of it. But if you're like me and you shoot real estate photography, you wanna make sure that your images are protected. Now this applies to anybody and anything. So if you take pictures with your phone or with a DSLR or mirrorless camera, whatever it is, you are the full rights owner to that image and it cannot be used without your consent or a license. All right, so you're in bed or on the couch and you're scrolling through your phone and all of a sudden you see an image, you're like, hey, I know that image, I actually shot that. And you go onto it and you click it and you realize, I'm not tagged. It's pretty disappointing and pretty upsetting, I understand. Um, sometimes I get messages from other clients or other people that know my work and they actually tag me and say, hey, this is shot by you, but they didn't actually tag you. All right, so this is the first thing that I recommend that you're gonna to wanna to do. You're gonna to wanna to reach out to that account, send them a nice message and say, hey, thank you very much for posting this image. Can you please credit and tag my company name or your personal name or whatever it is that you use uh, accordingly. In that message, you also wanna make sure you mention a deadline because if they don't do it by that time, when you're gonna go ahead and go and report this, which I'm gonna show you, then you can obviously say to them, well, I did mention it to you, I gave you a certain time frame. you didn't do it, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and report this image as being used without my license or copyright. So this leads me into my next point. They haven't responded, they haven't reached back to you, and they haven't made a change. So what do we need to do? We're gonna go jump onto the computer, we're gonna go onto an Instagram website where you're gonna actually report and notify Instagram that your image is being used without your consent. So on Instagram's platform, they're gonna ask you for the actual link of the image that you're talking about. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and cut and paste that and stick it into that form. Then they're gonna ask you to prove that that image is yours. You're gonna to have to cut and paste a certain link or a file and actually put it on that form as well. They're gonna ask you for your name, your information, your email, you fill out that whole form, and from there you go ahead and submit. Instagram will then go ahead and take a look and actually determine whether or not this does involve some copyright infringement. If they do, they will actually take it down. Now, that being said, I've had to go through many of these many times and I've had some accounts actually get shut down because once they get three or four claims against them, Instagram finds that as a violation of their terms and contract and they will actually shut the account down. So they don't want that. Accounts don't like getting their accounts obviously shut down and they don't like getting flagged by Instagram. So obviously they're gonna to wanna to reach back out to you and say, yes, we will credit you. Um, but unfortunately there are some accounts that just pretty much ignore you or don't care. So one of the factors that I always kind of make a decision whether or not you actually want it taken down or you wanna get reimbursed is how long that image was used. If you have an Instagram account with one or two or four million followers and they've had that image up for six months and there's like 30 or 40,000 likes on it, you're gonna to wanna to actually try to go and get reimbursed for that use because that image helped gain more traction to that account. So I would always go about the route of saying, okay, now I'm gonna go and try to get reimbursed for that image that was used. So this brings me to my last point, and that is if you don't have your images already registered with the Copyright Office, you're gonna have to actually go through some legal hoops and hurdles to actually get this done. I've used certain websites like pixie.com to actually help me not only find these images, but help me get them taken down or get reimbursed. But it could be a very daunting task and it could actually take very long. So there are some different scenarios for different situations. You need to decide what you wanna do in terms of either getting reimbursed and getting credited or obviously just getting it taken down overall. So I'm sharing this information with you because literally three years ago, I had an image that just totally blew up virally. It was a house of a twilight shot that I did with a Porsche right in the front. This image was literally pushed through all social media platforms. And a lot of people knew that it was an image that I shot, but some of them were actually using it without my consent. And I've been having a lot of battles trying to get them removed. It is copywritten, but it was a big, big deal. Um, I've been still battling this for the last two years, trying to get some of them taken down and reimbursed. So it's not an easy process, but it is something that is worthwhile because ultimately your images are gonna get reused, they're gonna get reshared. And I understand sometimes they get into certain platforms, people don't know where it's coming from or who to credit. 
correctly. But a lot of these accounts do want to get known and they do want to credit correctly. So reach out to them again, and hopefully that will solve one of these issues, which is using images without your consent or without any license use. So the battle isn't easy, but it is rewarding. I've had some images that I've actually got reimbursed for, and you know what, even if it's four or $5,000, it's an extra income that you just had from something that was shared, which you are entitled to obviously get paid for. So the reason why I make videos like this is because I really want to encourage photographers that are out there. This is a way of getting our power back. A lot of these images are getting used on these platforms, and without our images, these platforms would not exist. So I just strongly recommend that we continue to fight this battle, which is gonna be ongoing, but at least by fighting these little small battles, we'll win the war. I hope that helps guys. As always, feel free to message me down below, leave a comment, let me know what you think about this video, and I hope you have a great day. So if you like that video and you wanna see more, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook.